Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo, and welcome to my house out here in the backyard. It is, what, 36 degrees? How cold is it? It is something like 35 degrees, excuse me, 35 degrees, you guys. It's a little chilly out here. The sun's coming up, but it's going to get wor word. It's going to get warm, and the birds are chirping. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's New Year's, right? New Year's will be here. Uh, New Year's Eve is what? Tomorrow. Everybody be safe out there and, uh, you know, make good decisions. So um, don't party too hard if you party and don't go to bed too early if you, uh, if you don't do anything. But love you guys. Hope everybody's doing fabulous. We are going to be making something pretty interesting. You know, I was, you know, of course, I'm always on food channels and all over the place looking at different things and things to make and, you know, getting ideas. And like it says, I don't know if it says it, French toast. Uh, no. So we have waffles, pancake, French toast, right? So we're going to combine these. We'll go over this. Let's just jump over here real quick and uh, check this out. So basically, right, we have some waffles. Get that out of my arm. And uh, they're thawed. I ended up getting some frozen uh, waffles and frozen pancakes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because I could sit here and make fresh pancakes and all that good stuff. But it's funny. Look at how these are made. That side's not done like that side. It's interesting. Um, so we're, we're making like waffle pancakes. We're going to put some peanut butter and some peanut butter right here in here as a binder, right? And we're going to bind them together and then, um, we're going to dip it in a batter, which, um, we have right here. Let's go ahead and do this now. And, uh, just a little bit of milk. Last time I just ended up pouring a gallon of milk in for my, uh, mix I was doing omelet and um, I wonder if I could use this egg I don't think so there's an egg stuck in here it's no good and uh, for, I lost what I was saying but it's going to be amazing drop that in there I don't have a bag for my dirties which is okay And let's grab another one. Oops, making a mess. Use two eggs. And I need a napkin to clean up my mess. And we're going to add a little bit of this vanilla extract. It's fake vanilla. Just a tiny bit. And then we are going to add a little bit of cinnamon. cinnamon. And then we're going to mix that up. eggs back here i am going to have a couple over easy eggs it's because I, lo I love over easy eggs then we're going to beat it like michael jackson beat it get down in there like i always say when you're beating stuff you know man it almost smells good enough to drink right now but that would be really disgusting all right that's the gist of it Butter, we have some butter here um, we'll be using. And I'm going to smash up some of that butter. It was in the fridge, so it's pretty cold. And it's cold outside, so it's not helping it. And uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, turn on the grill, I guess. That would, that would help. Gina, good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. 
Hope you're doing fabulous. Having a good morning. So uh, let's get back over here. And uh, turn on the grill. I guess I should have had that done. Nice. I like it when it clicks on first. I need to put a new battery in this thing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Crank that up. How are you guys doing? How are we doing? Yeah, are you uh, going to have a good New Year's? I hope. I have zero plans. Uh, my wife wanted to go somewhere. And I was all about, like, not really wanting to go anywhere, you know? So, but uh, look at this. It's cold here. It's pretty cold. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to turn this around a little bit more. Um... Where are we at on this? I'm looking on my, my camera. We got a good good little view. What else going on? Built a bridge. That was pretty cool. It's like right there. And uh, it's on my walking trail. That's pretty awesome. Judge Webb, good morning, sir. How you doing? Hope you're doing swell. Happy New Year's to you, uh, you and your family or whatever you're doing for New Year's. Okay, I am going to uh, get my stuff ready over here. Brr, it is cold out here, guys. I want a new Blackstone. I want the big Blackstone. I want another Blackstone right here, uh, or even right there, probably right there. Butt them up together and have two Blackstones together. Really bad. Um. <clears throat> Let's get this right, Tay. I'm going to change this guy over here. The sun's coming up. I like when the sun comes up in the morning. It's so nice. The birds chirp out here. There's birds. It's going to be a beautiful day. Echo, what's the temperature going to be like today? Right now, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. 44? Today. Expect a high of 55 degrees. 44. Well, that one's wrong on my... It's 44 degrees. I don't know if that's true. Loader man, good morning, sir. Good to see you. Timothy, good morning. How are you liking the Mississippi weather? You know, I'm good with it. Um, I, did, I was here when it was really hot this last summer. And when it, we're having this like hot spell... And I'm okay with it, with the humidity and all that. You know, you just don't hang outside, hang out outside, you know. So it's it's pretty nice. I'm I'm enjoying it. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Okay, how are we doing on this heat? Okay, should transfer some stuff over here. We're gonna get ready to do this. How are we looking over here? That don't look good. Good enough. Man, I really got to do some uh, different arrangements up here for my uh, cameras. So I don't have cords. So I'm cordless and I just plug it in. I have some good ideas what I'm going to do. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. All right. Let's get ready to start this. This is going to be interesting. We need some peanut butter. Not butter. <sighs> come on, come on. See if I forgot anything, you know. I always forget something. I think that's probably normal, you guys. You guys that do like live streams, you forget something. That can go there. And um, peanut butter. 
It was going to soften up this peanut butter, too. It's pretty soft. I love peanut butter. Okay. Here we go. Let's do some peanut butter stuff here. It's pretty soft. You know what I love? I love peanut butter and I love um, butter on it. Butter and peanut butter together. It's pretty good. So we'll see how this works, you guys. Stick. You're a binder. There we go. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be peanut butter. You didn't see me do the peanut butter, I don't think. But um, this is a weird combination. But I think, oh, by the way, these these waffles have um, chocolate chips. So I really don't ever eat frozen waffles. Stick that together. There we go. Waffles and peanut butter. And a pancake and stick those together. There's two. Got it all over my hand. Let's try that again. It's starting to get warm. We'll turn that down a tad. It's smoking. She's she's like she's sounding beautiful there. Okay, here we go. Stick them together. What an interesting combination. One more. Let's do one more. Sorry, chat, if I have not seen your chat there. So, love when the birds chirp in the morning. I have a whole family of squirrels behind me, too, you guys. A little bit of that. See how this works. It's going to be interesting. Just like that. Okay, so now we have four. And um, let's put on our mixture. And then this is going to go quick, too, you guys, by the way. And it's it's fun, you know, doing this with your kids. I bet you they would have a blast with this. Here we go. How we how we how we feeling here? Feeling okay. Just like that. Probably should have put some butter down. My wife is making me some coffee. Babe. You don't even know what I'm making right now. I'm making some French toast with a pancake and a waffle. What do you think? With peanut butter in the middle. Sure. Okay. Thank you, darling. Love you. What's that? Too damn cold? <laughs> Coffee. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Good morning. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year's, man. Whoo! Hot. It's delicious. Thank you. Okay. All right. Who we got going on in here as that's cooking a little bit? Jake Hudson liked and shared. Good morning, Mississippi. Good morning, Mississippi. Yo, as I hurt myself. Good morning. <laughs> it is cold out here. Cooking with Big Cat 305. Top of the morning, sir. Hope you're doing swell. It's already 58 here. Yeah. So it's it's warm. Thank you for sharing there. It's 28 degrees here. Just uh, waiting on the snow. Yikesers. Yikesers, I don't want no snow. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Timothy Allen, I don't know. If, did I say hi to you? 
how you hike in the Mississippi weather. Like I am, you know, I'm liking the Mississippi weather. Yep, I saw you. All right. Let's pay attention to our cooking here. Um, let's do a little bit of butter down on this thing. Turn you up a little bit. It's cold. Butter's good. Very interesting. Yeah, we need to turn this. Let's turn this crank up this heat a little bit. It's so cold out here. It's uh, it's tweaking with it. Did I didn't even bring any plates with me? Wow. We will reuse this plate. Man, I wonder if we're going to do anything for New Year's. I'm good with, I don't like to go out on normal. We haven't been out on New Year's forever. Let's crank up that heat. Come on. You know what? What a, this is actually a, a kind of a good idea right here, you guys. This is interesting. Come on, how are we looking? We got heat going on. Griddle cold, griddle cold this morning. Well, it's time to do your job. All right, give that a minute. It's popping a little bit. It's sizzling. Okay. What else is going on down here? Luke John's in the house. Good morning, Luke John. It's one Celsius, one degree Celsius here in Yorkshire. My digit, digits filling the cold. Good morning, Luke John. Hope you're doing swell. Hope everything is going well. <sighs> I'm pretty warm. So I ended up, uh, and I thought I would never do that here. I ended up putting on um, Under Armour, basically. So I have layers on. I'm pretty warm. My fingertips are a little cold, um, but I'm pretty warm because I'm, I'm used to the cold. Uh, it was yesterday I went out and I was actually metal detecting in this weather. Um, I didn't even put Under Armour on. But um, speaking of metal detecting, a couple days ago, a few days ago, I found my first gold ring, yo. It was in the, it's probably been in the ground, probably my guess, good three or four years. It's been in the ground quite a while. It's a little nugget ring. And um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And uh, yesterday I found another ring, but it was just, uh, you know, like your little dollar ring. Nothing, no big deal. So a couple more rings added into my little collection, which is kind of cool. All is good. I just need someone to feed me pancakes, waffles, and French toast. No, the pancakes and waffles are the French toast that I put peanut butter between the between the pancake and the waffle, and then we're making a French toast. So it's going to be super delicious. Come on, I want it. I want a better ending. Ending. I want. Eh, it's looking good. It's a little crispy. We'll flip them again. They're turning out pretty good. Not a bad idea. The binder with the peanut butter, you guys. Man, this coffee's good. My wife. Thank you, baby. Echo, send an announcement. What's the announcement? Thank you, baby doll, so much for this coffee. It is delicious. I appreciate you. Announcing. There you go. Thank you, baby doll, so much for the coffee. So good. It's delicious. I appreciate you. <sighs> when it's cold, got to have the mug. Okay. What else am I going to do? I could actually be cooking my eggs right now. Let's do my eggs. Okay, we're going to do some eggs. Spam, I did not hear a word you just said. <laughs> All right, we're going to cook.
cook some eggs, you guys. Yo. Because I like eggs. Now, the peanut butter, I don't know. Do I want to make eggs? Would it be weird? You know, we're going to do it two ways. Let's do it two ways. One with eggs, one without eggs. That's what I'll do. <sighs> Whew. It's cold outside, but it's warm in bed. You're not going to believe this. I got a frozen egg. My eggs are freezing. That's awesome. It's still good. I have one frozen egg. One that's not. That's awesome. All right. We're going to put a little seasonings on these bad boys. And we are once again going to shout out Mr. Uh, Uncle Steve Shake here. Pow. Right there. Thank you for the banner back there in the background. Awesome, uh, awesome family man. You know, you have awesome stuff. Thank you so much. I'm just going to put a little bit of his uh, all-purpose seasoning on there. Just a little bit. Not too much. And a little bit of pep because I like pep. Um, I like pepper on my frozen eggs. There we go. I need eggs. I have one more egg left. Okay, how are we doing here? Coming along? There we go. Those are looking dark and smelling delicious. These are about done. That bad boy on there. Okay. And just like that, we're almost done. Probably one of the most easiest things. I could just go grab some whipped cream and slap whipped cream on it. I could go put some berries on it. I could, you know, put corn on it. Put whatever you like on it, right? I don't want anything on it. I don't want any cream. I only want some eggs on top of one of them. Just to test it out, which I'll probably end up liking. Boop, boop. Anyone with bake? Yeah. You know what? I almost, I almost, yes, I almost was going to make bacon this morning. And then I told myself, nope, no bacon. We're not doing bacon. So almost did the bacon. Give that a couple more seconds and we will be done. Gosh, I just love when peanut butter is hot on the griddle. We got to turn that griddle off. We're, we're looking... We're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right, let's put those eggs. Look at those eggs are perfect. Come on. Oh yeah, watch this. You're really buttery. Ah. It'll work. Just a little bit of heat, and then that's done. So now, let's go ahead and plate our food. Actually, you know what we need on here, you guys? We need butter. We need more butter. Butter, butter, more butter, more butter. Some more crumbly butter. You'll melt. Melt butter all over my fingers. There we go. Enough butter. Get back up there. My eggs are done. There we go. That turned that off too. All right. Woo! What am I going to do today? I have, oh, we're, I have to sit down and do my pension stuff today. And they have a lot of questions that it just like takes time. Get that ready to roll and sent out to them on Tuesday. <laughs> Ham.
handsome judge. All right, there we go. Butter's melted. Here we go. Just plate this. Look at that butter. Look at that butter melted. Melting butter. So there's one. Let's get rid of this butter somewhere. Well, I guess I should have put one up like that. And one up like that. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we got some goodness going on here. Um, egg on one. Two eggs on one. And uh, let's take a picture real quick because it lasts longer. Flip that bad boy over. Ah, burr. My goodness sakes alive. Okay. Peanut butter good. Let's close you up. We're done with that. There you go, guys. I know it doesn't look beautiful, but we can put some whipped cream on there or bacon. I, I, I almost wanted to get some bacon on there, but um, I didn't do it. Gosh, that don't even look pretty. I don't even want to take a picture of it. But we're taking a picture of it because I take a picture of everything anyways. But uh, it's going to be delicious. Come on, I need light. There we go. Flip you over because oh, Alexa sent an announcement. I forgot something. Alexa, Echo, send an announcement. What's the announcement? Babe, can you please bring me some syrup? I forgot syrup. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> How can I forget syrup? I thought I got everything. I'm like, cool. I got everything. I don't have to go grab anything. At least I for didn't forget my eggs. <laughs> Coco in the house. Good morning, Coco. Hope you're doing swell syrup, right? Come on. I got to have syrup. So good to see you, Coco. Good morning to you or afternoon, evening, whatever it is over there. You know, maybe we will go on a little hike on my trail to show you guys my trail. Because I'm excited about my trail. It's uh, it's coming along, and huh, I'm glad I have some syrup. I, I forgot to even look last night. This beautiful woman over here. Yeah, we're not going to talk about what syrup this is, okay? No, we are not. We are not going to talk about this syrup. <laughs> no, we are not. Hey, is that a... They're asking if it's maple syrup. It's public syrup. <laughs> Don't say public. <laughs> Publix, like as in that grocery store? Yeah. They have their name on there, too. We have some plastic bottle syrup, yo. <laughs> Let's put on some syrup on these bad boys because I like syrup. And I like syrup on my eggs too, but peanut butter or I don't know. It's a little bit of syrup. It's going to be so good. Oh, my goodness. Ready? We're going to take a field trip too. We're going to go around my, my uh, for those that haven't seen my property. Cats are meowing. Oh, man. Where's my bacon, you guys? Gosh, dang it, you know? All right, here we go. Yum. Homemade is better. I'm going to tell you that. But it's good. 
it's not bad. It's it's not bad for uh you know, if you can't decide if you want waffles or pancakes, you just make some French toast waffle pancake stuff, right? One thing I do is I'll take that batter, if there's any extra left over, and I drizzle on the griddle on top of my stuff. Not bad. It's not, you know, the best breakfast in the whole wide world, but it's good. Now, if it was homemade, I think it would have been, like, outstanding because you put your own thing in there. Oh, I'm taking the, tasting those little chocolate chips. Mmm. Dude, right? Crunchy, bet it. I love the crunchy is the best. I don't shop in my house, especially now. I really don't leave my house much. I've been hanging out for a while, which is good. But uh, I don't buy any of that stuff. That's not, not, it's not part of me. It, you know, I go and I'll buy a few things, but I don't go grocery shopping. Mm. So good. I don't have any protein, though. How about we go walk? Around my trail. I'll show you guys my trail. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> no syrup on the fork where it gets on my hand. And a runny egg when you do the, the pancakes too. That's my fave. Mmm. Weird breakfast, too easy. I paid, I think, a dollar fifty for a box of waffles, two something for the pancakes, and then eggs, of course, are a couple bucks. So you're talking about a cheap breakfast. And syrup is nothing, unless you buy maple syrup. I can't put maple syrup on my cheap, cheap breakfast. Shan dog in the house, sir. Good to see you. Did you ever get, did you ever get my sticker? Did I send you something? I can't remember. I think I did. I can't remember, Shan dog. We get busy, bam. Cocoa is amazing. All right. Give me two minutes and we're going to go for a field trip. Mm hmm. Now, this one is crunchy. Mm hmm. I like it without the eggs. Man, peanut butter sure can like really make it like a bra can't talk. Mm. <clears throat> For a lot of years. I wake up at three and I'm used to eating breakfast early. So I'm a breakfast guy and it's just, it's weird how um, I wake up and I'm hungry. Not clean that up. But um, so I'm a breakfast guy. I have to have breakfast in the morning. I need to work out. Let me tell you something weird. A couple days ago, because I'm going to start working out. I have a workout over there. Big D's in the house. What up, man? How you doing? You doing good? 
Yeah. You might want to put me up. <laughs> I can answer you then. <laughs> What's okay, up, man? We, we got to talk, bro. Oh, dear. And I'm going to spill the beans right here in front of everybody. Hey, are you, um, was it that time of the month? Are you on your period? No, but being a loyal subscriber, mm -hmm. being someone that always watches your shows. Right. Six o'clock in the morning is too fucking early for me, dude. Oh, dude. Is it six in the morning? It's 630, prick. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it is. It's almost time for lunch here. No, it, it's almost nine o'clock, Castle. <laughs> did I, Over there. Did I uh, start it at nine o'clock last time? I think you started it later. Yeah, I don't I know, but like I did. Yeah, I can't remember because I was like, if I do it at nine, that's not bad. I should change it. Good I morning, everybody. It. I should change it to nine. Well, you know. I mean, I, I, well, because I that way the web shows. You know, no, because that came to my mind this morning. I'm like, well, you your live even know. said your live even said at eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Last night, but yeah. I'm like eight a.m. I'm in bed. That's when I'm in bed on my phone doing all my stuff. You know, yeah. dude, yeah. technology, right? You can go into your bed and. Create your live stream. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yes. And yes, they are coming to New Orleans. They're playing with a band. They're playing with a band. You want, you want me to see if I can get you tickets? If you can get me tickets, yeah. I'll talk to George. But if I get you tickets, you got to buy a couple figures or a shirt. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, plan. I'll, I'll go. Yeah. And if, um, I'll, if I'll knowing that kind of uh, thing, it probably starts at like nine o'clock at night, right? I can look at the showtime right now. Hold on. I, I looked at it. I pop, popped it up. I didn't really. I text actually messaged it to you. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, and let's it, it'll see. Show it right on that message. New Orleans at Southport Hall, January sixteenth, eight nine o'clock. It doesn't say the time. I'll ask him tonight. It says eight or nine, right? Yeah, they're going to Hawaii in March, dude. I so want to. Uh, wow, the wife—that's been one of her bucket list places to go. So I'm going to see. Dude, if I, so uh, they're playing in Nola. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get a few, like four or five days off of work, and see if the wife and I can go to Hawaii for a few days. Dude, nice. Did you well, say Hawaii? Yeah, we'll we'll see how things go. I might be getting a, a nice check pretty soon. Door time is six o'clock. Excuse yeah. me. Six thirty to ten thirty. Dude, so it's probably... on a dude, it's on a Tuesday, man. I uh, let me see if I work on Tuesday. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> dude, <laughs> it's must it, it, there is actually three good bands. Mustard plug, which they're yeah. kind of they're ska, and then bite me bambi, which is you ever heard of the band Say Ferris? No. You remember that remake, like the horns and stuff of that song, Come On Eileen? Come on, Eileen. Okay. But oh, yeah, it was yeah, all yeah. ska, like horns and stuff. That's uh -huh. that. that right. Well, basically, Say Ferris did that. But there's wow. a lot of guys from the band Say Ferris that are now Bite Me Bambi. And then Voodoo's, Voodoo's playing as well. Crazy. Yeah, it's going to be a good show. I mean, they put on good shows, period. Dude. Oh, yeah. But I'll see if I can get you tickets and see if I can... Uh, Get you access as well, okay? Because they're, they're should, aren't they like your really good friends, your good buddies, George? Yeah, dude, yeah. He's, he's over here like every other day, every day. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he lives right up the street from me. That's my boy. He bumped into Joey. What's he's, that? He, he bumped into Joey when he was in Ohio. Oh, did he really? Mm -hmm. Yep. There's two of them. Whoa, what? We, Holy we, mackerel. We now have twins. We call them twins in Mexico. Okay. Mm. Watch this. Do I have two guests? No. Do I have guests in the down the basement? No. Okay. Why don't you have any guests in the basement? 
What's the deal? All right. Oh, so this here. is what. Oh, gosh, bless it. So, so here's here. what we're doing. No, we're not. No, we're not. You need to mute one of your mics. You there? Oh, okay, it's not doing it now. No, it'll it'll oh, go yeah. off. Okay, go ahead. Cool. There's a person at the okay. So basically, what I'm doing here is frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Ooh, okay, I'm back now. So I had to I had to take it off of Wi-Fi. Sorry about my uh, guest. Is there, there? I don't have anybody in the basement, do I? I don't think so, Tim. I don't know. I I have no control. No. Why? Um, okay. So check this out, dude. This is crazy. So uh, my bridge, I built. Nice. So I got to put some handrails up here, right? Because uh -huh. you know we don't want to have falling down in there. Look at those alpha ears in the background. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to pop this up here, too. My wife uh, likes alpha ear plants. She loves them. Does she? Yes. She's like, she took some with us when we moved several years ago and planted them. And they're real easy to plant and grow. So, yeah, those big alpha ears over there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, those things are going to get beautiful too. Those are poisonous for dogs, but check out. This okay. is pretty cool. This used to be a, a lake. That guy is driving too fast. It used to be a lake. Yeah. It used to be a little, or a pond. Excuse me. Okay. But, uh, this is the, this is the trail that I made and I, I kind of walk my dog every day on this trail. And this is your property. Yeah. Nice. Dude, isn't this nice back here? Yeah. It, it's pretty generally really quiet. Um, I do have a couple houses way back here, but I call this, you know what I call this? What? The yard debris trail. Because all the yard debris that I find, I put it on the trail. Oh, nice. Look at that old thing. That thing's old. It's and, uh, yeah, it's some type of something. I don't know. It's, it's garbage. Looks like a cedar of some sort. Um, see, here's an old pipe I found back in the ground. Jesus. You should, you should you might want to turn it away from the trail, Mojo. I just picture <laughs> your wife walking down the trail, turn it around, look at you and talk to you. And Dude, you know what's head funny? Head. About, I was actually thinking that, too. <laughs> but, uh, it's not too bad. You'd have to walk off the trail. You know, okay. it's, off the, it's off the trail. So. Mojo, it was a dark and stony night. <laughs> no, she wouldn't be out here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about before dark, but you know, it's oh, a yeah. dark and stony night, and t that you guys were walking down the trail, and you looked at her and said, "Babe, I'd really like to make this tonight." And she looks at you and says, "That'd be great." <laughs> 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 yeah, That's all I'm saying. Look at that. There's another wheel. That's, and, from, uh, that's from the cedar. Uh, it could be. Yeah. Yes, it is. Telling and you. look at this! Look at this old box, old toolbox. So I got to do something with this tree. Chainsaw. But isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? It's yeah. it's beautiful. Chainsaw, cut a trail. So I mean, my my property goes kind of way back there still, you know. But um, back here, that's all my yard debris stuff. Look at this old guy, 1917. A lot of patented dates on it. Oh, that's one of the lawn lawn flatteners. Yeah. Or dirt oh. dirt roller or whatever. Yeah, it's for concrete. Oh, that's for concrete. I thought that was one of those those lawn rollers. Or you could use it. You could use it for that too. It's it's um, you know I'm sure you could probably use it for that thing too. But it goes back here and. Uh, I gotta clean up this a little bit. This is where the cats are. There's, There's a, cat. a cat. Am I am I echoing? Is it really no, it's you're picking fine. It up on? Yeah. My my uh mic is picking it up too. Good enough. But uh lot of uh lot of stuff out here, man. Isn't it crazy? 
Yeah, bro. So this is where I put my fire pit. A little fire pit. Nice. Man. And uh, I'm sure, man, my mic, if my mic is picking it up, that's not bad. Dude, check out this Magnolia. Is it Look at that thing. Isn't that crazy? I got to get over there and kill that stuff. But uh, I love my property, man. I just love it out here. You know, when it's 120 degrees out and 200% humidity, it's crazy. It's not 100 degrees out. No, but when it is. So that's the front yard. I am kind of close by the road, but the we can't hear any of the noise in the house. Yeah, that is that's that's not that close. You got the big arch driveway. You're good enough. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And then there's these guys. You know who put these out? Oh yeah, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> but man, I love I love I love my yard. I love the, the I love the peacefulness out here, man. Um, had a guy come over last night that I met a while ago and showed, showed him my bar. Bar. There you go. Dookie, 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 dookie. You hear it in the background? Dookie, yeah. Dookie, 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 dookie. There you go. It's not you, know, you, you know what it means by when it's going dookie, 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 dookie. Oh, yeah. The dog needs to go out and go potty. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. So... <laughs> From, from what I've seen of that nice big path and area there, Mojo, you uh -huh. got a really, really nice go kart track, bro. Oh, dude, I know. I'm telling I you, could, dude. I could, hey, I can make the trail even bigger. Come, yeah. even come down through here and make this go go kart track all the way up here, and uh, you know, because this is another. This was my original path right here. I'm telling but, you, Mojo. Get I could make this, dude. I could make the go kart go through here, because all these trees can be moved. This stuff you don't need to move all of them. You just trim a few of them down and make a yeah. nice slinky trail. And then it gets up here on the path, dude. I'm telling you, bro. I'd make it where I'd just make the bridge wider too, dude, and make it a little adventure right there. Yeah, you know. Well, what? you got you just got to go over it slow. I don't even need to have have it go over this. I because I can come down from the below. Yeah. But let me look through this. These are gorgeous. What are these get? These are getting ate up a little bit. Yeah, that's bowling poison ivy. No, this is. Uh, I forget what they call it. They their leaves get beautiful and bring up flowers. There's a lot of flowers that come on that. Do you guys have any poison ivy out there? Dude, come on. There's everything's poison out here. <laughs> These guys are rotting away, though. Yeah, that's what my wife loves, that plant, dude. I didn't know they were poisonous to dogs. Well, oh, that plant up there I'm talking about. I don't know about this plant. Oh. A lot of stuff is poisonous to dogs. Look at this. They're dying away, but those things are huge. I want to move some of them, though. They're easy, dude. You can actually trim. I, I, I think my wife, she just pulled one, one or two of the stalks off and uh -huh. stuck them in the ground, bro, and they grew. Uh -huh. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So here's another access to the back. I think they're like, that's bitching right there. That's That would be a perfect hole for the go-karts because you can't see shit when you hit it from the from yeah. your yard. I know. It's a complete blind spot. Dude. I, can, I can have a track completely around the whole property that goes way down by the road, dude. Oh, but dude. isn't that cool, that entrance? Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine that hole, though, for being in the go-kart, trying to get into the track, driving through that thing, not seeing shit? Yep. Dude, that's awesome, bro. Yeah. So what do you think? I I just told you what I think. Yeah, I think me it's and the pretty, kids would be out there it. every day, dude. <laughs> right. Forget the the road noise. The wife would be pissed off because of the noise of the carts. Oh, I'm telling you. You got it. You, you got it made, bro. It's uh, it's peaceful. I don't have the craziness because you know I grew up in, I grew up in L.A. and I grew up in the big cities and, you know, so. But see, when I was in twenty one, when I got my inheritance, I moved to Kentucky, and it was such culture shock. I couldn't handle it, bro. Yeah, I, 
I could not. Not when you're young. When you're young, it's different. Yeah. Well, you're that's that's the point of my story is um, it wasn't. It, it sucked when I went out there because there was nothing for me to do. It was a completely, like I said, culture shock, completely different place. But now being 54 years old, I look at all that and I go, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. I mean, dude. We had, there was property, there was everything, you know, plenty of room. I could have done stuff like that, but right. it wasn't even a thought in my mind, dude. It was, there was nothing to do. So I didn't want to be there so much that, I mean, literally when I got 18, when I turned 18, I got married, dude. And I moved out there and oh, uh, 18, oh, really? yeah, it was 18, not 21. Um, yeah, and, 18 is, 18 is young. Yeah, and, and bro, I, I honestly, I didn't want to come back, and I, I didn't care, dude. I, I told my my ex, I said, you could stay out here with your family. You know, you can move in with them. You can keep the house. We had a mobile home. You can keep that. You can do whatever you want, mm-hmm. or you can come back. If you're not coming back, we're getting it all. We're done. I'm out. <laughs> I couldn't handle yep. the place. It was that gnarly for me. It was, but now I look at it, shit. You know, you ever uh, wonder, you ever uh, not wonder, you ever know what happened to her? No, no, don't, don't even. Right. Yeah. Choices were made, bro. She didn't want to, she didn't do what she was supposed to do. Right. Uh, uh, You know, so it, it, I mean, it's all good. Going to my aunt's uncle's farm, and I had time of my life. Feedstock, nice. She um, had a real strong, influential family over her, though. Um, you 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 heard of Barnett Racing, right? Barnett Racing. No, I have you, not. You never seen the the like they used to have grips, and t-shirts, and all that stuff. They were flat trackers. Right. Her uh, her uncle was the one that owned on Barnett Racing. They were they oh, were really? owned, yeah, and he also owned a bar out there in Kentucky. Uh, actually, mm-hmm. it was in Lexington, uh, called Rhinestones, which was a real big country bar and stuff. And right, <clears throat> he was, they were, he was real influential over. Her, so, wasn't worth it. She chose what she chose. I chose what I chose. Right. Annulment. <laughs> <laughs> so I have these drums downstairs. Drums. Right. Drums. Drums. Okay. And a big box of music and um, music that he re- recorded, too, of my buddy. Well, he was about an hour, 45 minutes north, two hours north from here. And um, It's raining. He, li- he lived out here, right? Okay. And, I, and he had it in storage, just those two things in storage, dude, forever. I'm sure he had him in there for a long time well he left his girl too Mm -hmm. and he couldn't bring his stuff and i told him like dude i live right by that man why don't i just pick him up throw him downstairs so now his stuff is downstairs we got to figure out how to get it to him they're old school drums that are i guess really good drums he's a really good musician and stuff send him care of dorito and the lucha cabra right not the music (laughs) just the drums my daughter she'd really like them (laughs) <laughs> i wonder what it would cost to send all those drums probably so much money huh uh, unless you broke them down and took like took the heads off and everything and then stacked all the mm-hmm. the drums within the drums and then took the heads you can make it a smaller a smaller box that way but i don't know if he'd want you doing that you know what i mean oh no he told me to do that when i was going to pick him up and you know when i first moved here yeah. And I didn't have the room. It's a lot of work, bro. To yeah. break down a, I mean, to remove the heads, to break down a drum set, remove the heads, remove all the hardware. You know. I would imagine so. I mean, Baton Rouge, how far is Baton Rouge from here? Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, for four, I do not know. Two, four hours, three hours. Is that where he's at? No, that's where somebody just. Down here, Bruce is he. Uh, what do you say? His aunt's from there. Oh. 
Dude, I just fed Mojo's these cats out here. That's funny. Luke John's all Bruce. I'm in the UK. Mojo's porch is bigger than my house. <laughs> <laughs> Luke John said that. Yeah. Let's see. It says how many hours away? Directions. Dude, it's fucking raining, bro. Is it raining? Yeah, they said it was going to rain today. Two hours and 54 minutes. It's from my house. We're Baton Rouge. I, I, um, I have not went and uh, checked out Baton Rouge yet. Morning, Bruce. It's a little north of uh, NOLA. So what, you, you're gonna if I if I get you tickets, you're gonna go. Well, if you get me tickets, I'm gonna have to go. Well, that's no, what I'm saying. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So just let me know. That's cool. One guy I know was like, "Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, I want to go." Oh, they're here. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to go, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I might have to work that night. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't work. <laughs> The thing I like about this cup, this cup keeps my stuff, my coffee hot forever. Yeah, my wife's got those. She likes those cups. Dude, I might start doing, I've been really researching it a lot. I might start doing the, uh, the, the buying stuff from Ipsy, stuff like that. Right, right. And the mass, that like mass amounts. I've been talking with somebody. I might like maybe procure five, six hundred items of something and see what they do. And just resell them? Yes. Is that a thing now? Uh, no, I've been looking at it, dude. And, and there's a lot of things like I, I ended up talking to one of the guys that does the imports as well, too, for all mm -hmm. the ATVs and stuff like that. And there's there's really good, there's good money in it. Because it's you good, can probably good, get a discount on top of it if you were Well, no, it. I'm not. I, I can't afford to go and buy 20, 30 quads, dude. Um, you know, I, I can't afford that. I'm talking small items, dude, right now. Right. Or maybe down the road, you know. But build it up like a business. Yep. And then work your way up to quads. Well, doing the Amazon dropship thing. Yeah. So there's... You know, it, it's it's throw the dice, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, but I had time this week. I had time last week. I, you know, like this week, I only technically worked one day, dude. But I went oh. over and put. I went over Thursday and Friday and put together eleven quads and dirt bikes. Mm -hmm. So I did pretty good, you know, as well. I mean, it just just like another work day, if not better. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, this porch thing, Luke John, down below it is my uh, fallout shelter bunker. And it's a huge, that's basically my job. How you feel now, Luke John? It's really huge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's like, dude, if you were, if a tornado came, I'm good. Luke John, Mojo just walked up to the table with whoop oh, <laughs> Now what? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, um, I don't know. A lot of places like in the UK, I don't know. Are they like have small homes, don't they? Or normal he, homes? He lives in the Thatcher's house. <laughs> they need to mend the roof. <laughs> It's okay, Luke John. You can change your stars. <laughs> <laughs> you know what movie that's from, right? No. The... A Night's Tale. What's One of says? my favorite the... movies. 1621. Oh, so his house was built in 1621? Jesus. Is that what that is that what I'm reading? It gotta be ghosts in that motherfucker, right? And, um, dude, there's ghosts in the ghosts. Yeah, dude. Metal detecting. Speaking of metal detecting, wouldn't it be like some shit to go metal detecting out there? 
Wow. I think it's been done, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> the fucking sundial. Did Hold I on, I gotta go out to the sundial and set my alarm. <laughs> hey, did I tell you um, I found a gold ring? You told me you found a diamond one a while back ago, right? Yeah, but I found a gold ring like a couple days ago. Oh, like, nice. Literally straight up like gold nugget ring. <laughs> Had it tested. You know you're supposed to turn it in, right? Well, when it's been in the ground for about what? four years, it's I'm not the- turning it in. I won't turn something like that in. It was down pretty deep. Nice. And the stuff out here doesn't really settle in the ground. What I'm finding out, it's weird. But um, it was down in that ground for quite a while. A lot of years. Then I found a ring yesterday. That's like a five dollar ring. Mojo. A dollar ring. I still got the ring you gave me. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, now I'm really slow. Is that like something? Let me see. If... Never mind. I'll, I'll explain what? it to you sometime when we're alone. Okay, it hit me. Okay, I thought that's what. <laughs> hey, Mojo, I'll explain it to you sometime when we're alone. Okay. It says I have Chinese tourists taking photos of my house. Anywhere else, it would be illegal. Not in England with our old houses. Uh, you're you're yeah. actually you're allowed to take a picture of somebody's house here in here in the US. Anything you can see from public access is fair game. Mm-hmm. Hey, is it legal to have I don't know if I brought this up, a uh, like a not a roadblock, but checkpoints. Um what do you? What kind of checkpoints are you talking about? Yeah, it's illegal to have. No see the thing. The there's technically a thing where, like DUI checkpoints and and regular yeah, DUI, vehicles. Yeah, DUI checkpoints. Yeah, um, it's a fine line, dude. Because there's, you're technically not not supposed to stop a passenger vehicle, a regular car that someone's driving. Um, unless there's a crime that, unless you, unless you got rats or a reasonable articulous suspicion right. or they've committed a crime in front of you. Um, so that's the thing you, you, you have the freedom to move, but when you get pulled over, you're supposed to present ID with a car. When you're, when you're driving a vehicle, you're supposed to present a, a driver's license. Now, so, the thing is, is unless there's a, a reason for them to pull you over, they're technically not supposed to. But if you're in a commercial vehicle, um, you know, even my box truck, they can pull you over for it. They, they can just look at you and pull you and pull you over. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, yeah, they got more, they got, they got more Avenue to pull you over than legally. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So DUI checkpoints, I don't. So here don't it is. Think, here's the deal. So it's it's state by state, county by county, basically. Here in but not constitution wise. George County, they have checkpoints right in front of my house, directly right in front of my house, because they can see all the way down and because I'm right next to the town right here, right? Yeah. And they can see all the way coming in down the road. Now, if you turn around, <coughs> it's off, they're gonna chase you down. But you have to stop and they ask you questions, you know, and it's legal. Because I checked it out, but uh, I thought when I first saw it and I was seen him doing it in front of my house, I'm like, "What?" Yeah, it's, so it's legal and it was weird, um, but yeah, they, well, they can do it. That's the thing is, and we should probably ask Judge Webb. Well, you, you you were a judge, right, Judge Webb? But I I think it's it's un- technically unconstitutional, but you're going by state and and city laws at that point. Yeah. And they still technically don't trump your constitutional rights, but you know, I, I thought the same thing. In which I don't care. My big thing is up. Oh, there goes a funeral thing. 
But my big thing is, um, if you if if you're not doing anything wrong, you know, what's the big deal? But then on the other hand, are they? We we talked about this years ago, about uh, even though it's not wrong, but it's your constitutional right. Back when, you know, these people were doing stuff inside a public place and taking videos and pictures and you know down that road, and we brought it up during those conversations, but. You know, oh, there we go. Okay, Judge Webb. I didn't know, man. I thought maybe you were a judge at one time. No, but yeah, no. I, that's the whole thing with that dude. Is I think it's more of a uh, it, it, you're technically not supposed to have to worry about. You know, it's freedom of search and seizure, freedom of uh, freedom of movement. There's like a few different things with that. You know what I would do if I was you? If they do the DUI checkpoint in front of your house. I would go out there, set up a tripod with a camera. <laughs> no. Do a, do a, no. You're on, on your yard. No. Okay. Yeah. I know the police. I know we're a small, small community. And pretty much I'm getting to know all these big people, right? And no, I'm not going to poke my but, little police officer. But I think it'd be funny if you put up a tripod with a camera right there, we're right next to it in your yard. And then sat out there in some lawn chairs and put up a big old cardboard sign and brought out a cooler there and filled it with what? Beer. And then put that big old cardboard sign that says free beer if you pass the checkpoint. <laughs> I think that'd yeah, be right? funny as hell, dude. Do a, do a live. Let's do it live on YouTube. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Free beer if you check the, that, you, if you pass the checkpoint. Right. Hey, what's going on, Mojo? I just wanted to come up. I haven't come up or anything. It's the first time, but I just wanted to come up and show my face. Say hello nice. to you guys. I uh, appreciate it's, it, buddy. Uh, how you so how you doing today? You ready? You ready for New Year's? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going out or nothing, man. So Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> I don't I don't like to go out. I like to just stay home. I've done that for I don't know how many of the ten last ten years. I don't yeah. go out. Yeah, well, but, uh, I mean, I don't drink anymore, so like that's good. You know, you know, I stopped drinking a long time ago, so <laughs> you, you know what happens? Like it catches up with you. It's like you know, then yeah. you start like you start, I started having health problems, but it, it was just more of like uh, you know, I got I went from like okay, so I went from using I was a heroin addict, uh, and then I stopped. You know, I had to go through treatment, um, stopped, um, and then I picked up drinking alcohol, obviously. Um, and I finally just like, listen, like this, like this is it, you know, like, this is going, like it's time to like stop this. So I ended up just, you know, kind of just uh, going through treatment, and that was that. And I finally right. stopped. You know, I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, I'm tired, man. So how many, just, how many years? I've got I've got 24 coming up uh, on nice. the 15th of January, dude. Right on. Mm -hmm. um, it'll uh, that that alcohol will get you, man. You know if it. <laughs> I don't drink much, but I tell you what, New Year's Eve, I'm getting fucked up. There you go. Are you? <laughs> it's not me. I'm. Uh, I will probably go to bed at eight, like I normally do, and or nine, and pass out. That's what I do. Nice. Eight, nine o'clock. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't early, even man. I didn't even think about it. Then the wife calls me yesterday from liquor barn. And I'm like, what are you doing there? I heard they got marshmallow shots. <laughs> marshmallow <laughs> shots. <laughs> the fuck you mean they got marshmallow shots? And she goes, they got lime shots, they got marshmallow shots, they even got vanilla shots. Well shit, grab the vanilla shots. Grab the marshmallow shots. She goes, I think I want some margaritas. I'm going to grab a bottle of margarita mixed with alcohol. And go ahead and grab it. Grab some tequila while you're at it. Okay. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, grab me a few Voodoo Rangers on the way. Out. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting loaded. Um, yeah, you see what Shandog is saying there, Bruce. Yeah, I appreciate you know that. Thank you that's, so much. Uh, that's that's uh, pretty awesome, dude. Because think about where you would be today if you didn't stop. Oh, I'd probably be dead or something. So you know, yeah. or I would, you know, I would be out on the street somewhere. Just you know, I mean, who knows? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. I mean, um, Luke John, I saw it, and I'm thinking to myself, you don't have tornadoes, but the bricks, 
that that's a solid you know a solid house 16 what did he say that was built 16 something to me that's bruce it. it is badass for you facing your evil badass for you beating your evil it doesn't matter yeah. what it is it's it, it's right. an evil. Oh, yeah. yeah well you yeah. know i i've always I, I was always taught like my dad always told me like if you can if you can be responsible and do like drinks then fine but like I was getting in trouble. Um, I got kicked out of places that my dad was going to and it didn't make, it didn't make it look good. Uh, then, you know, uh, getting picked up by the police. No, yeah, that's it, you were good. embarrassing I'm, yourself I'm and your family. Understood. Understood. Oh, yeah. yeah. Understood. So, it's just one of those things, you know, uh, you know, we all can do whatever, man. Like I, I, I used to, I used to be addicted, <laughs> addicted to, uh, to other things. And, yeah, it, it took not so much the addiction, it took seeing the addiction in others with it to realize what I was doing. I couldn't see it in myself. It was seeing it in others and going, am I fucking like that? I can't be. Nope, can't be. Nope, nope, I'm not going to let that. And it was that realization with me with certain things that, that did that. Same thing here. Yep. yep, same here. That's not me. I'm yeah. not like these people. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding? They're out yeah. of line. I remember I went to a meeting, and I'm not going to say it had an A at the end. I ain't going to say which one it was. And I went, and I at that time I had my, you know, I still, I, I, I was still, I have my business, but I was starting at that point in time. I had a thirty-five thousand dollar truck, you know, big truck. I come pulling up, and I see all oh, this crazy shit and i'm like and i go in there dude and i hear the stories and i'm like when i went home told him i don't need to go to that place no more i think i'm good <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 yeah i was like wow okay 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 and i didn't look at myself like oh i don't have the problem this is the people that have the problem i said am i like that you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people do that. They they say that, oh, um, I don't have what they have. Yeah. But here here's a here's just a reality that I had to go through. The people I used to make fun of them. I was like, what the hell? Like these people are nuts. And then, but guess who's the one that was not in jail? It was them. It was they were having their lives with their families, their and wives, you, and, yeah. you know, whatever. What what was other people doing? It's like, so yeah, I get it. Uh, and you know, I, you can only you can only do uh, it, unless you want to. That's it. Yeah, you, I just you, chose to, just like you chose to. Yeah, you got to choose. You got to choose to look at yourself from the outside. Okay. It, that's Life the reality. Death, right? Life huh? or death. That's what I look at it as. Yeah. Who, who are you? So, what are you creating? And where are you going to be? Those three things. I mean, I could, right on. Good for you, man. I could, I could drink. I could have a beer. I could have two, but. The, the reason I choose not to is I take medication. I've got uh, my biggest, my biggest issue is I've got GI problems, but, but guess what? You just, you just deal with life. Was okay, the army you after you? you? Stay away from them problems. The, the, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You just sorry. don't fuck with them. You don't drink. People, people told me you're an idiot. Why don't you have a beer with me? Okay. I'll be an idiot. But why are you going to call me names? Because I choose. This is my life, dude. Like, yeah. like I just yeah. don't want that. So I understand, you know, Dorito. Like, and and I appreciate you guys. And and I just want to say, Mojo, before I do leave, I, I appreciate watching your videos, man, and and watching you live on Saturday, man. You're 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 awesome. Good you to know, meet you, definitely, Bruce. And that's badass. Do, man. Bro. Yeah, that is that is happy that new is. year, guys. So, do you and have kids? In the chat. <laughs> Bruce, do you have kids? Oh uh, no. Well, I've got two two boys, yeah. Okay. Nice. So yeah. That's uh it's uh yeah. I came I came from a family of a lot of addictions. And um you, you know, you, you just take that path on the road and you know it's like Drunk whatever shit. path you take is what your life's gonna be, man. Um I've had my mom passed away from cirrhosis of the liver, had a brother that passed away from the cirrhosis of the liver. And um, my one of my older sisters just was diagnosed, but it's a really light one. But she continues to drink, you know. But um, dude, I appreciate what you said up here. You have no idea what 
that can affect somebody else yeah dude. you know on youtube because it can affect somebody else and see what they can have also right so that's yeah, just they can have they it. can have what we all have here like they, they yeah. can have that it's 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 a, it's a matter of choice and it's a matter of want I mean, the question yeah. is if they get and have everything that we have here do they have a shot for it yet Never mind. It's I don't know. No, never mind. <laughs> Do they have a shot? <laughs> I was is the there... one that woke up fucking late this morning here. Come on, guys. What the hell is going on, you know? So, Bruce, I appreciate you coming up, Thanks, man, man, and saying what you said. I really do appreciate from the bottom it. of my heart. Because I, Thanks, man. I mean, I love it. And uh, and I, I, I'm going to tell you this. You're amazing. That's straight up Thanks, true. Thanks, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. So, Happy so. New Year to you guys. Yep, you, you too, man. Right. You take care. And many more. <laughs> that was pretty cool, man. You know, yeah, was. Uh, yeah, he, he's right too, dude. You know, it's something to be proud of, man. I, and I, I can't even say it because I've been around it my whole life. You know, not yeah, me. He, you know, my hard thing in in life with addiction is um, with like drugs or alcohol or whatever. I've never had those addictions, so I don't know what it's like. You know, you know. So. You don't even realize them half the time until it's too late, bro. Um, you know, I, I hate to say one of the funniest. <laughs> Four years ago. You know what? That is so true. So the alcohol here. So we we are dry, considered a dry county, except for you can buy some um, some beer and I think a little bit of wine. Um, you go to a Mexican restaurant, you can't order like a margarita or anything like that because we're like a dry county. But we are. I was just talking to... Um, these friends of mine at the coffee shop i go there like about three days a week and sit and chit chat but um that was just that just happened you were able to buy beer it's crazy wait a minute roblox you couldn't bring beer fucking home say it again no no wait i, I just seen right here i'm reading what he said mojo oh. you uh, talk about your time three to four years ago and now they now they have roadblocks, tricot people. I'm yeah. I'm trying to understand that part, but like, okay, when it was a dry county three or four years ago, could you not bring alcohol into the county into your home? Oh, you can't. You could, you could. I I do believe you could. Then what are the roadblocks about? The, well, it's you know for alcohol DUI DUI, DUI checkpoints. Oh, so okay. I don't know about. Um, how it was three or four years ago before that. Hi, my boy. Come That's here. Crazy. Oh, you let him go. <laughs> Come here. There's cats over here. Come here. Oh, I, I remember in New Mexico when I was out there on one of my Rocky. journeys. I lived there for a little while. Um, Sundays were dry. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. In Ohio, I when I was a kid, you could drink at 18. Hi, Miss Mojo. That's badass sweater. Oh, is she gone? Yeah. Oh no. That was the lunch thing I gave her. Oh. Give no. the Punisher back their LSD sweater. <laughs> 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 what is this that, on your neck? That's badass. I like that sweater. Look at look at that. That's a wrap on her on her shoulders. Nice. Yeah, turn around. Let's see the back. Oh, I thought it was a I thought it was a hoodie. Oh, nice. Oh, What's okay. my boy doing? That's cool. I got hoodie on Timu. <laughs> Look at Nan and a boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why people wear platforms with bell bottoms because they're so long. Didn't sell lotto tickets by churches. See, wow, uh, that's funny. Yeah, but we're dry. talking about our county being dry, you know. And the that's checkpoint. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is crazy. So, dude, we get on these little electric uh, quads that I built a whole bunch of them um, yesterday. And we're in a warehouse. And we get on these things, dude. And the wheels are brand new. And the floor is slick. You know, it's a, it's a massive oh, cool. dock, dock warehouse. Right. So, these things, like, they only go, like, 15 18 miles an hour but they really? you can you, they go 5 to 18 miles an hour and you can regulate it on a smartphone 
that's crazy. I, I get on them and we're testing yeah. them out because I just built them and everything. And I get on them and they were restricted to five. So I nailed the restricted throttle. Right? How fast? How fast? Restricted to five miles an hour right at the time. So okay. I nailed the throttle and it's like it it, it, it snaps you back, bro. But yeah, five miles an hour. That's it. It's yeah, like instantly goes to five. So I'm like, huh, get the app, open up the app, uncork it. So yeah. it's 18 or 15 to 18 miles an hour. Anyways, I'm in the warehouse, dude, and I just nail the throttle, and it's <laughs> I'm doing donuts in the warehouse, just hauling ass across the warehouse, dude, just wow. sliding sideways. There's no traction in that place, dude. I just slide no. They're, they're kind like, of fun, you know. They were, dude. I mean, if you were in, like, a warehouse area that had <laughs> slick cement. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry. Nope. That means no, babe. <laughs> Nope. My dog is not wanting to go in the house, so he's telling her no. Yeah. All right. I'm going to jump off of here. Um, hey, have a safe uh, New Year's. Don't drink a lot. Don't get, you know, wake up with a headache, you know, but it, you can say this. Don't tell me what to do, you know. Don't but, tell me uh, what to do. I'm rubber you glue. Right? <laughs> but uh, you, know, you and your family, another New Year's has gone by. That means uh, the first of the year. I don't have any medical for about a month or two. Yeah. So that's the first time in my entire life, pretty much. Don't eat any of the leaves in the backyard. Okay. No, no, not at all. Um, no happy, happy New Year's, everybody. Uh, be safe out there. Hope uh, you and your family, you know, has will have an amazing year coming up. And uh, take it easy. And I will see you when? Next time? Dude, I'm doing rapid Saturday. Long. Saturday. A little later. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to change it to nine. I'm changing it to nine, babe. All right, man.